Let's go, let's go. It's running. Wonderful. Okay, well, we'll start slowly with a seat. So you can just start your playlist online as well. Cross your legs or come into a kneeling. And then let's today, when we cross our legs, switch the other leg in front. It might feel a little bit strange because we have our habits everywhere. And then just come into your seat, feel your sit bones ground into your block, your pillow or your mat, and take a deep breath in. And then my sigh out of the mouth. And let that sigh create a sense of stillness. And then keep focusing on your breath. And I was just sharing that I love this book, The Daily Stoic. And today's message I'll share with you while you sit. So it's Marcus Aurelius that said, you aren't bothered, are you? Because you weigh a certain amount or not twice as much. So why get worked up? that you've been given a certain lifespan and not more. Just as you are satisfied with your normal weight, so you should be with the time you've been given. And explained, it says, they say edge is just a number, but to some people it is very important. Otherwise women, women wouldn't lie about being younger and ambitious young men wouldn't lie about being older. Rich people and health nuts spend billions of dollars in offered in effort to move the expiration date from around 78 years to hopefully forever. Seneca says it in a nice way, life is long if you know how to use it. And sadly, most people don't. They waste the life they've been given. Only when it's too late, do they try to compensate for that waste by vainly hoping to put more time on the clock. And the message is used today. Use every day and make yourself satisfied with what you have been given. So let's sit with those interesting deep words actually for a Monday morning. A new day, a new week. A gift, whether today is going to present all joyful moments or whether this day is going to potentially, we don't know yet, give us challenges. It's all part of life. And taking care of yourself allows you to be the best version of yourself in that time that we've been given here. Mm -hmm. So let's be grateful, grateful for this day, grateful for our healthy body and mind and grateful that we have the privilege of having time to spend time with ourselves, for ourselves on our mats. May place your hands in front of the heart, maybe set an intention, a word or the message that I just read resonates with you. You can Use that during the practice and maybe even during the day. Bow your head towards your fingertips to seal that in. And let's start this morning with Kapalabhati breath. I always like to sit on the floor for Kapalabhati, just because I feel more grounded through the sit bones. You bring the arms above your head and then breathe into the belly so the belly kind of flops up. And then it's a sharp snap in as you breathe out. You can breathe out of the mouth or out of the nose. This breath cultivates heat, stimulates the digestion and energetically just wakes you up. So take a breath in, fill up the belly and then breathe out. Out of the mouth or out of the nose. One minute.
Halfway, keep going. Relax your face one more time, stay with it. Ten, nine. Three, two, take a deep breath in. Hands to the knees and just feel the energy shift. Maybe some a little bit more awake, a little bit warmer. And that's what breath does. That's what movement does. Let's come into our child's pose. So if you have weights, bring the weights to the top of the mat, split them. So you've got one weight on each side. You don't have to use weights because sculpt is a challenging class. So work with what you've got this morning. Child's pose is your resting pose. So you can come back to this child's pose whenever you want. Cultivate Ujjayi breath in and out of the nose with a slight restriction in the back of the throat. What a way to start our day, nice and active. Take a breath in, come into a tabletop with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Take a deep breath in, cow stretch. Look up, tailbone up, tuck your toes, hovering cat stretch. We immediately start to engage all the muscles in our body. Knees down, inhale. You can even point your toes, cow. Tuck your toes, exhale, hover and hug the navel in and chin towards your chest. Two more like that. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, hover and tuck. Last one, breathe in, open up the collarbones and the throat. Lovely. Exhale, round and tuck. Neutral spine, reach the right arm forward and the left leg back. Come into your pointer. Nice, Emma. Take a deep breath in here. Now bring your right arm to the right side and the left leg to the left side. Good. Pointer, reach long. Use your core. Exhale, reach to the side. Inhale, full length. Exhale over, keep that foot nice and high. Two more times, breathe in. Breathe out, last one, inhale. Exhale, now hover the foot just above the floor and place it down onto the floor next to you. So the foot is around the same um, height as your knee and then bring your arms up towards the sky. And take a deep breath in, left arm down, right arm up and over. Create that C shape, very nice. I'll mirror you. Hold and breathe. I can see that they can't see my mats. For three. Huh? Oh, no, that's okay. Two. And then bring your hand down to the floor and turn towards the side if you've got the space. So you're facing the living room. So it's a bit dusty there. All right, 10 push ups, little ones. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, walk back to the top of the mat, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Left arm reaches forward, right leg reaches back. Come into your pointer, active fingers and toes, breathe in. To the side, exhale, inhale, length. I'm bending the knee, but it's just because I've got the wall. Exhale, come to the side, two more times. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Use your core, lovely, good. Place that foot down to the floor, and there you go. Arms up to the sky, bring it up and over, find some space, hold. Warming up the body. One more deep breath in. We come straight to a plank pose. Hands to the top of the mat, feet to the back of the mat. Index fingers parallel to each other. Take a deep breath in. Right knee to your nose, exhale. Step back, plank pose, inhale. Left knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, plank, you can drop to the knees. Right knee to the nose, one more round. Inhale, back, plank pose. Left knee to your nose. Inhale, plank. Right knee to your nose. Three-legged dog. Breathe in. Lift the right leg up. Open the belly to the side. Option to drop to the left elbow and even to the fingers of the right hand. 
Bend that right knee, draw the right heel close to your bum. Two more rounds of breath here. One more deep breath in. Runner's lunge, step that right foot all the way to the outside of your right hand. Good, you may come into fingertips, breathe in. Wide pyramid pose, flex your right foot, draw the toes up towards your knee, towards your shin. We pulse this, inhale, runner's lunge, bend your right knee, exhale, pyramid pose. Two more times, inhale, runner's lunge, exhale, pyramid, inhale, runner's lunge, exhale, pyramid pose. Runner's lunge, breathe in. Malasana squat, both feet to the top of the mat, breathe out. You can bring the toes a little wider. So you've got space for the knees to bend in the direction of the toes. Interlace your hands and stand all the way up. All right, there we go. Exhale to come up. Nice, keep your chest nice and broad. So sometimes the tendency is to wanna to bow forward. Look at the horizon and keep your gaze there. Yeah, open up into the hips, 10. Nine, eight, seven, looking good, six, five, four, three, two, feet together, high mountain, samastiti he, bring the hands to heart, wonderful. Inhale, high mountain, arms up, exhale, fold forward, soften your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Plank pose, exhale. This time we go down to the floor in 10, nine. You can use your knees, seven, six, five, four, strong legs, three, two, all the way down. Reach the fingers forward and the toes back into a superman, superwoman. Yeah, activate, think length rather than height. Hold and feel the engagement of your fingers, your toes, your arms, your legs, your core. Stay with the breath. One more deep breath in. Hands next to your ribcage, soften the nose to the floor. Inhale, table or plank pose, press yourself up. Left knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, plank pose. Right knee to your nose, keep your shoulders above your wrists. Plank pose, breathe in. So you're almost still, except for that knee drawing in. Plank pose, inhale, right knee to your nose. Last one, plank pose, left knee to your nose, three-legged dog. Reach that left leg up, it feels like a nice release in the armpits. Option to drop the right elbow and even come into the fingertips of the left hand. Three rounds of breath here. Nice, Emma, that's it, Nicole. Wonderful, Lucy. Take one more deep breath in together. Look forward, runner's lunge, left foot outside of the left hand. Maybe on fingertips, bend the left knee, breathe in, open the collarbones. Exhale, pyramid pose, flex the left foot, hold for a moment. Feel the length in the back of your left leg. Let's pulse, inhale, runner's lunge, open up into the hip, exhale, Pyramid, wide legged. Inhale, pulse forward, broaden the collarbone, straight, strong right leg. Exhale, pyramid. Two more times, breathing forward. Breathe out, bring it back. Lovely. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, malasana squat, both feet to the top of the mat. There we go, just 10 times. And then we're nice and warm. Nine, speed it up a little, eight. Bum down, lift up, bend those knees. Good. Five, four, three, two. High mountain, step the feet together, hands to heart center. We are nice and warm. Inhale, Utkatasana. Sink down into your little chair. Fold forward, soften your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose, hands under the shoulders, feet step back. Toes or knees, take a deep breath in. Shift the weight forward and back and forward and back. Five, four, so you're rolling over your toes. Three, two, now come all the way forward and then halfway down, Chaturanga. Upward dog, 
or cobra pose, your toes are pointed sides of the floor. Hips lift first, downward facing dog. A breath into the nose and sigh it out. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog, lengthen. Knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee, right arm, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, lengthen. Right knee, left arm, tap the elbow or above. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Knee to your nose, mountain climber. So here you can step or you can decide to jog. 30 seconds, starting now. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. Maybe even close your eyes, feel the sensations. Go towards the sensation. Go towards the challenge, it's okay. You've got your breath. You're getting stronger with each breath. Nice, we're over halfway, 10 seconds to go. Yep, I can feel my arms. Nice, we're getting warm. Five, four, three, two, down dog. Tailbone lift, breathe into the nose. A little sigh out of the mouth. Plank pose, breathe in. Right knee to your nose, breathe out. Three-legged dog, right leg lifts up towards the sky. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Now find your weights to heart center and find your feet, maybe step it a little out and in. Back knee can be bent. And then you bend the back knee to hover over the floor. Yeah, nice adjustment, Lucy. Up into the bicep curls. Yep, there we go. Maybe give your girls some oxygen. Nice. Oh, it's already a bit open. Good. 10 to go, 10, nine, yay, eight. Make sure your front knee stays behind the ankle or above the ankle. So you're not coming too much forward, almost lean a little back. So when you bend, the knee is above the ankle. Rather than going forward with your energy, go straight down. Three, two, Hands to heart center, take a deep breath in. Bring the weight down to the floor. Fingertips, or actually you can use your weight if that is easier. Shiva squat to lunge, pulse it out. Yeah, bring it in and step it back. Nice and long step, 10, nine, eight, stay low, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, low lunge. Weight to the side, step back to plank pose. Left hand reaches for the weight, coming to a side plank. Option to drop the right knee to the floor or to drop the weight even. Now you pulse your hips up and down 15 times. One, two, yeah, that's it. Three, four, five, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, good work. Five, four, three, two. Left elbow down towards the floor. Right hand finds the weight. So you're on your elbow. Lift up, flip the feet. Sorry to turn my back. Exhale onto the toes. Press the weight through. Flip the feet on their side. Lift the weight up. Come onto the toes, hips parallel. Yes. Woo, again, option to drop to the knees. Inhale, exhale, four more to go. Oh, this one is strong. Four, feel that deep core connection. Three, two, one. Weight to the side, both elbows down, elbow plank, wiggle, breathe in. Swings pose, a little break. Maybe wiggle your tail, point your toes, close your eyes, three rounds of breath. Recover. Nice. Notice that with your breath, you can start to slow everything down. Heart rate starts to slow down. Blood pressure decreases. Central nervous system starts to calm again. Take a breath in. Nose to the floor, hands next to your rib cage. Tuck your toes, inhale, plank or table tuck. Exhale, full downward facing dog, full stretch. 
three breaths in downward facing dog to take a moment here to breathe, to be, to feel. To reconnect with your intention and the gratitude of this day, this moment. Left leg reaches up, inhale. Knee to your nose, exhale, draw it forward and in. Inhale, three-legged dog lengthen. Left knee, left arm pit if you can, nice and high. Inhale, three-legged dog. Knee to the right side, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog lengthen. There we go, knee to nose, mountain climbers. Start to run it out, your minute has started. Maybe even close your eyes. Then the mind gets less distracted or look at a fixed point. Focus on moving fast, getting that heart rate up. Yes. Yip, 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 yip. It's Monday. Bring those knees in. Come on, come on. Run it out. Halfway. Feel the heat. Feel the engagement of the arms, the legs. Keep with the breath. Stay focused. Last. 15 seconds, come on, a little faster. Yes, you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, down, dog. Ooh, nice. A breath into the nose, a sigh out of the mouth. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, left knee to your nose, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step it in between your hands. Find your weight into your hands. Find your crescent lunge with the back heel of the floor. So when you bend the knee, drop that right knee straight down. Front knee stays above the ankle rather than bringing too much weight forward. And there we go. So it's a straight up and down. Yep. Equal weight in both feet. Huh, a little bit out of breath. Feels good. 12, 11. 10, nine, yes, eight. That is a way to start your day. Seven, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and to heart center, breathe in. Bring the weights down, maybe on the highest position so you can pose your Shiva squats to low lunge. Try to speed it up. Bring the weight to your left foot. Hardly any weight in your hands. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7. Feel that bump. 5, 4, 3, 2. Long step back. Weight down, the hands down. Step to a plank pose. Your right hand lifts and finds a weight for your side plank. Drop to the knee if you want to. Pulse out the hips. 15, 14, 13, that's it, 12, 11. Focus your eyes on a fixed point. It will help you with your balance. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right elbow down, switch the weight to your left hand. Flip to the side, breathe in, cross, thread the needle, breathe out. Onto the side of the feet, so it's like a side elbow plank. And then a half full elbow plank where you roll back onto the toes and your hips shift back to being parallel with the mat. Yes. Six. Five. Stay with it. Knees are an option. Four. Yes. Three. Two, both elbows down, coming to your elbow plank, breathe in, swing pose. Yes, a nice little break. Use your breath. Notice the heat in the body, the heart rate. <sighs> Maybe even a little bit of an edge where you feel challenged, and that's fine. Breathe in. Hands slide back, nose comes down to the floor. Tuck toes, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog, full stretch. Stillness or a wiggle of your tail, whatever feels good to your body. 
Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Feet are hip width apart. Take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Fold forward, soften your neck and shoulders. Find your weight in your hands. Come into Utkatasana with the feet hip width apart. Yeah, so wiggle a little. Look at the toes pointing straight forward. Lift up the chest, nice. Stand all the way up and drop the weights behind you. So squeeze those elbows in, straighten the arms in front of the heart. So as soon as the elbows point up, you squeeze your own head with your arms. Yep, off we go. Also, when the weight drops behind you, make sure you're not hanging in the lower back. So you keep your abdominals strong as if somebody is kind of punching in your stomach or you wanna zip up the zip of your jeans while the jeans are tight, that kind of feeling. 10, nine, that's it, eight, seven, six, Woo, feeling warm, lovely, five, four, weight in the four corners of the feet, three, two, one, hands to heart center, lift your left knee in towards your chest. I mirror you. Left knee in towards your chest. Nice. And then point that toe to hover just above the floor. Left arm up to the sky, one into the waist, one above your head, or two to the left arm. There we go. Knee and elbow. 15. Go slow. 14. 13. Keep your balance. Yeah, good focus on a fixed point. Focus your eyes. 10, balance, core connection, strength. I lost count. I think another five. <laughs> Four, good, Emma. Three, two. Divide the weight, bring the knee back into your chest. Now reach that leg behind you. The left leg reaches behind you. Arms and hands can be in front of the heart into your uh, airplane pose. Lovely work, hold for three, two. Come back to your single leg Tadasana, lift the knee in. You can even press the arms above your head. Breath in here, transition back to your warrior, your flying airplane. Good, inhale, make it easy. Wibble, wiggle and wobble on that right leg creating more stability in the joints of the right leg. And the wobbling is part of it. Keep your eyes focused on a drishti. Two more times. Two. Breathe out. One. And then stay in your airplane pose. Hold for three. And two. Gentle step back into crescent lunge. Warrior two, slide the legs open, right toes forward, left toes in. Reverse warrior, right arm comes up from the shoulder straight to the ceiling, extended side angle, left arm up. Keep going, inhale, reverse. So the legs are working statically. They're holding onto a shape and they're working in that way. Your upper body is working dynamically through movement. Six, yeah. Watch that front foot, Lucy. Make sure the toes are pointing straight forward. That's much better for the knee as well. Three, two, star pose. So press into both feet and turn the toes out. There we go. Sit down to pull it up. So you're starting front of the groin. Yes. Nicole, elbows out to the side. Yep, that's it. Much better. 10. And Lucy, you can keep your weight together. So kiss the weight. Yeah, much better, good. Nine, eight, awesome, Emma. Six, five, four, elbows up, elbows up. That's it, three, two. Sit down into your squat, hands to heart. Lift your heels and pulse. 10, nine, feel your heart rate. Go, keep your eyes focused. Six, five. Four, three, two, heels down, star pose, breathe in. Top of your mat, right foot in front, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. 
Extended side angle, now we hold. I like to place both hands in the left hand and make my stance a little shorter. Glue the right arm on the inside of the knee, so it kind of keeps that knee alight. Um, hands together, and then pull it open. So hands together, weights to armpit. Hands together, pull that elbow back. So there's a twist, there we go. 10, a little bit faster. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Divide the weights, reverse warrior, right arm up and over. No lunge, wimble your hands down. Maybe you can keep your weights in your hands if it doesn't hurt your knuckles too much. Plank pose on the knees or the toes. Lift your weight towards the chest, towards the armpit. Bring it back. Weight to armpit. So these weights are quite small. So I'm just going to pass the weight to one hand in the next. Now, what tends to happen is that the hips want to dance. So keep your hips as still as possible and just move the hands. Find the weight, bring it to the armpit. 20 seconds to go. Hup, uh. Ooh. Shaky, shaky, that's a good thing. 10, nine, six, five, four, three, ay, 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 two. Weights to the side, split them up, hands down. Downward facing dog, a deep breath into the nose. A sigh out of the mouth. Right leg legs, three-legged dog, breathe in. Knee to your nose. Now, hop your left foot, the back foot a little closer. We do a little kick. Kick your leg up, knee to your nose. Kick your leg up, maybe float, knee to your nose. There we go. Six. Five. Knee to your nose. Four. Three. Lovely. Two, runner's lunge, right foot outside of your right hand. All right, this is it. Place your hands flat onto the floor if you can. Thumbs are touching. Switch lunges. You bend your knees a little. You press into the hands and you switch your leg. If that's too much, you step. You step from right to left, increasing mobility, flexibility, and working on your cardio. Let's do 10 more. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good. Three, two, my last in the squat. Take a deep breath in and take a moment of pause here. Close your eyes, feel the heart rate, the heat. I'm sweating, the sweat is dripping. One more deep breath in. Fold forward, feet hip width apart. So your toes feel until your toes are pointing straight forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana with your weights. Nice. Feet are, again, hip width apart. And this time you cross your left toes behind your right and you sit back down. Courtesy, squat. Other side. Little courtesy. That's it. And a squat. Back to the center. Watch your feet. They're parallel. You're sinking in both feet. Yeah, balls of the feet, toes, heels. Keep it up. Remember, you can always drop the weight if things are getting too much. 10. Nine. Hee <laughs> Monday. Eight. See, it's also nicer for me to have some people here. <laughs> in lockdown, I pretended. Many, many, many people in this, in this living room <laughs> for many hours. More fun together. Four, three, and two, one. Come back to center, sit back down. Stand up, hands to heart center. Lift your left knee in towards your chest. Yes, take a deep breath in. And then point your toes and let me think. Now I'm not sure. Tuck, 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 tuck. We're doing the same leg. So let's lift the other knee. Yeah. 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 It's, your, it's your right leg. My left. There we go. Hop. 
knee to elbow. Lift your gaze. Keep it on your dristi. You can reach with this hand if it has no weight, or otherwise it's nicer to keep it close to your waist. It's close to your core, so you can keep the balance. Six, five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Knee in towards your chest. Fly that leg behind you. Standing on your left foot, reaching the right leg. Reach to the toes. Reach to the crown. Neck is long. Inhale, bring the knee back into your chest. Arms can come above your head. Exhale, fly back. You can keep the hands too hot. Nice and slow, balanced poses. And I find that I feel a big difference between the right and the left. Because my left hip is not as stable, so it's more work. I need to be a bit more focused. Otherwise, I feel I'm like mini collapsing into that hip. Yeah, two more times. And that's why the wobble is also more. One more full round, all the way up into the chest, all the way behind you. Tilt into a T-shape. Breathe in, step back, crescent lunge. Warrior two, slice it open, long start. Use almost the full length of your mat, left toes point forward. Left arm up and over, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, right arm up. Good. Inhale, reverse. Feel that length in the front line of the body. Exhale. So working again, statically in the legs, dynamically in the upper body. Nice breathing. Three more rounds. Three. Two. Star pose, press into your feet. Turn the toes out, off we go. Swing, one of my favorites. Because we're working the legs, we're working the core. You can go shoulder height if you've got sensitive shoulders. Otherwise, we can go all the way up. And you're working your heart rate, getting that heart rate up. Speed it up a little, next gear. Yeah, sixth gear. Come on, 10, nine. You'll probably move faster than your breath here. Five. You'll catch up with the breath after. Four, three, two, four. Sit nice and low. Bring the weight onto the thighs or the hands onto the thighs. Keep the heels down. Take a breath in. Bring your left shoulder forward and look over your right shoulder. A little moment of twist, a little break. Back to center. Inhale. Change sides. Click back. One more each side. Inhale, twist, exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Start with the weights in front of the heart. Breathe in top of the mat. Where are you two? Reverse it once more. Inhale. Extended side angle. Both weights might go to the right hand. Left arm on the inside. I took a shorter stance. There we go. Open it up. Pull as if you are starting the boat motor of a motorboat. Boom. Boom. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Looking good. 4, 3, 2. Weight down to the floor. Hands down to the floor. Plank pose. Breathe in. Chaturanga, shift forward and halfway down. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Phew, I need a towel. The sweat is dripping. Take a breath in, bend your knees and come to a seated position to the bum. A little sip of water. Just gonna find my drink. Yeah, it's hot today. Crazy, it's summer. Summer is finally here. It was about time. And it's, it's like humid. And it's humid. It's humid today. Nice. I do feel very awake. See, we don't need a cup of, we don't need a cup of coffee anymore. That's it. That did the trick. Mm. I know. 
most people it, it doesn't do the trick <laughs> it's like yeah whatever you're not a coffee drinker <laughs> if you want to use your weight and bring them next to your hips you might want to use them you never know for a little bit of core activation bring the legs up towards the sky take a deep breath in crunch your elbows up and your knees in so you're trying to touch and then you reach back up inhale exhale also lift your tailbone if you want more you can extend the legs along the floor on the inhale and draw them in on the exhale shoulder blades lift 10 9 8 7 Notice your core engaged. Pull that navel in. Six. Five. Four. Nice. Three. Two. One. Knees in. Feet come to the floor. Now you may place your weights on your tummy. One or two. I like just to hold my hands close to them so I know that they won't roll to my face. It's an active bridge pose. Option to touch your Achilles, the back of the heels, to make sure they're nice and close to the bum. And it's two up, two down. So you go up, up, halfway, and then hover your bum. So the muscles are active all the time. Two up, two down. But we stay above the floor. Also stretching the front, engaging the hamstrings, the bum, the lower back. You may exhale when you lift your hips slowly and breathe in when the hips go back down to the floor. Six to go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Ooh. Two. Keep it nice and high and just hold for 10, nine, feel the shaking, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll vertebra by vertebra, upper back, middle back, lower back, down. Weight can come to the side. One weight in your right hand. And then come up to the left side of the body. So you're not totally on the side. You're also not totally on the back. You're somewhere in between. Legs can float. Hover your right elbow. Kiss your elbow to the knees. If you want more, you keep the legs straight. And the weights come to the feet. Yeah. So roll a little bit more on your side, Lucy. Yes. That's it. That's it. Much better. Good. 15. 14. Awesome, Emma. That's it. Keep those feet together if you can, Emma. Keep your feet together all the time. Keep the feet together. Yes. Active legs. Eight. Seven. Six. I know, I know. It's Monday. Five. You won't regret it. In 15 minutes, you'll be so satisfied. Three. Two. Change side. So just look to the other side. I'm just going to change this way so I can keep seeing you, looking at you. Breathe in. Feet together, point of flex your feet. Hug the knees to elbow or feet to weight. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, you can. Can't just do one side, commit it, and then leave the other side. And you're going to have like a, a three pack. One side of your abdominals are going to be like a three pack, and the other side is. <laughs> Come on! Yes! Eight, seven, six, five, four, I know, three, two, one. Come back onto your back with or without the weight. Lift your feet, opposite hands, opposite weight, opposite foot. Come on, this is the last one. Pulse it out. Punch it out. Boom. Boom. You can even point your toes. Then there's more height. 20.
That's it. That's it. Keep moving. Last. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. So all of the feet to touch. You may even bring your hands to touch your body, maybe on the belly, maybe on the heart. Close the eyes. <sighs> Three more rounds of breath here. And bring the knees together and sway them a little bit from right to left. Just massaging into the lower back. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock and roll forward and back. We've got like two, three minutes of standing and then we'll wind down and relax. I promise you, so rock and roll, rock and roll until you are in a forward fold. Big toes to touch. You don't need your weight anymore. Take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Plank pose, step all the way back and then downward facing down. Right leg lifts, three legged like dog, breathe in. Step the foot in between your hands, breathe out. Standing splits, lift your left leg up. Fingers can come forward and you can again use your weights if the floor is too far. Then tap your left toes to the one side of the mat and then to the other. Yeah, reach through the left toes, feel the bum engage, 30 seconds. Nice, feel the bum squeeze when you lift the toes up to the sky. Keep breathing. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Last 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, Ooh, I can feel it now, three, two, standing splits, take a deep breath in, slide the foot behind your right foot, a little break, take a halfway lift, walk your hands over to the right side and drop your head, consciously drop your head. Feel the nice stretch on the left side of the upper body, all the way down to the left hip, the left outer leg. Walk back to the front, find the weight in your left foot, that's your back foot, toe hook with your index finger and your middle finger around the right big toe, the front foot. Lift your left hand to the side, gently, slowly, Oh, stand up, tree pose. Glue the foot on the inside of the calf or the inside of the thigh. Wobble a little, find your center, find your moment of stillness. Maybe lift the hands up towards the sky. Breathe for three, two, Eagle pose, wrap that right leg over the thigh, over the left thigh and the right arm comes under the left. That's it. Opening up in the shoulders. For three, two, whoopa. High mountain, inhale. Fold forward, soften your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Step back to downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg up to the sky, breathe in. Knee to your nose, breathe out. Let's give it a little kick. Up to the sky, knee to your nose. Up to the sky, knee to your nose, good. Six, five, four, Come on, last time to get that heart rate up. Three, two, step the foot all the way into the hand, standing splits. 
Time to tap the right toes. Up and down, there we go. You can even close your eyes. Foot finds the right side of the mat, up to the sky, left side of the mat. Squeeze the bum when the toes reach up to the sky. That's it. Halfway. Five. Four. Three. Two. Foot slide behind the left. Find the weight in both heels. Walk over to the left and drop your head. Let the head be heavy. Back to the front toe hook, left index finger and middle finger. Find a big toe. It's also a balancing exercise. Engaging, focusing, nice and slow. Bring it up, up up and then bring it on the inside of the calf or the thigh. Take a moment to find your balance, hands to heart center or above your head. Hmm, this is it, well done for waking up so early and kickstarting the day so nicely. One more deep breath in, Hands to heart center. One more full sun A, arms up to the sky. Inhale, fold forward, soften the neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Plank pose to chaturanga, toes or knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, walk, step jump to a seat. Make sure you stay warm. So if you feel that you're getting cold, this could be a nice time to put some warmer clothes on. And then we come to Paschimottanasana, legs straight, or a side bend is also fine. And then just fold over your legs. Option to change the music a bit if you want a little bit more softer vibes. Oh. Stay with your breath, nice and slow breathing. Roll up and roll onto your back. Happy baby pose. You can hold onto the knees, the ankles, or the feet. Even sway a little from right to left. And then hug your knees in towards your chest and let the knees fall over to the left side. Your arms can come wide into a T-shape. And then let the knees come to the center and to the other side. And in line with the little message that we started with in the beginning of class, that is saying, and it, I, I like it, it reminds me of you know embracing life in each moment and using each day to the fullest, is that um, try to live, not exist. It's quite simple. 
but it's actually also quite difficult. Live rather than exist. For me, that helps me just focus on making certain choices that make me feel alive, that help me to use each day to its fullest and be grateful for it. Bring it back to center and extend the legs along the floor into a nice shavasana shape, just a couple of moments to let the body rest for everything to integrate. And I'll let you know when it's time to move again. If you're in a good nice relaxation and you want to stay there, if you could be at home, you're like, oh, I'm just going to be a little bit longer. Same feeling, you know, when you need to get out of bed, you're like, no, not yet. Just stay. <laughs> if you feel ready, then you start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And again, just with a sense of curiosity, feel into the body. Your beautiful, beautiful body, healthy and strong. You can hug your knees in towards your chest. Wiggle a little. And then in your own time, nice and gently, slowly roll onto the side. And you can use the floor to just press yourself up and away from the floor back into a seated position. It's actually because things are finite in the same way, they, they end some way that we can, if we just accept that, actually embrace life more. Every day is a gift. And the way to start it today was amazing. Thank you for being here. You may place your hands in front of the heart and take some of that lovely energy, some of the insights maybe that you have cultivated for yourself with you up into the rest of this beautiful day. Use it to the fullest. <laughs> Namaste. Take your time.